welcome to Reactor Hello World Satellite video log. In this episode we are going to talk about radios. You can follow us on Twitter with the hashtag ReactorSpace. Here you can see a simplified diagram of our end-to-end -end radio setup. You can see here the satellite and here the ground station. Uh, the ground station starts with a software-defined radio software. We are using GNU Radio open source software. The software controls the hardware. We are using the Hack RF1 and the USRP SDRs. The SDR, uh, when transmitting, uh, the signal goes to the filter, then a power amplifier, and then to the switch, and then to the antennas. When receiving, it goes to the switch, low noise amplifier, filter, and then to the SDR. These components are basically analog and the setup depends on which frequencies and antennas you are using. Our ground station setup uses two antennas. We have the DISH antenna for the high frequency S-band and we have Yagi's for the lower frequency UHF. Here we have an example of a do-it-yourself antenna uh, made for receiving weather satellite images. It's made of uh, sewer pipes and water pipes, so anyone can basically make this by themselves. On the satellite side, we have two antennas for the S-band and UHF. Then we have similar kind of analog components than on the ground station side. After that, we got a hardware radio compared to the software radio on the ground station and a microcontroller controlling the hardware radio. Here you can see the development model of the radio chip that we use on the satellite. Uh, the chip is in the middle and you can see the analog components around it. Here is the uh, development model of the microcontroller that we use. The chip is here and you have these uh, connectors for the radio module, so you can just plug it in. And finally you can see almost like the production model where you have the PCB and the same components are soldered on the PCB. And you can see that the components are laid out twice, so you have some hardware redundancy. Uh, with this setup, we can send data from the ground station all the way to the computers on the satellite, and then receive data from the computers on the satellite through the whole stack back to the ground station. Thanks for watching today's episode. This was the basics of our radio setup. You can follow us on Twitter with the hashtag ReactorSpace.